Hugh just likes a bit of f- Oh, it was an accident that Hugh's bare ass ended up all over the internet. Leave Hugh alone. He'll be back on the BBC once this is all blown over. If that's true, you are the absolute scum of the earth. Hi, it's me again, and uh, I'm not fully convinced that Hugh will be back on the BBC once this is all blown over, because literally just now, I haven't even read it, I wasn't going to make a video today, because it's quite late, it's like half seven at night, I've just clocked this in the sun, look at this, I'm pretty sure if you like Hugh, he's not going to be back on the BBC uh, anytime soon. And what is it about BBC employees that causes this sort of thing to happen? Here we go. Hugh charged. Ex-BBC presenter Hugh Edwards charged with making 37 indecent images of children shared on WhatsApp. Now, just to remind you that the BBC part of it that you pay your licence fee to publish many of the salaries. So, Hugh Edwards' earnings up until uh, mid-2023 were between 435 and 439,999 thousand pounds from you. He is paid from licence fee money. I think that's worth, um, worth considering as we continue this. As I said, it's half seven at night. I've got this cheap cruise campo from Tesco's, and I think I'm going to need to drink one of these cheap cruise camp. Well, I've had more than, as you can tell, um, for this story, because I didn't see this one coming. I thought it was just Hugh Edwards doing a bit of gay stuff, which is fine if you like that sort of thing, and sharing a picture of your ass, which leaked out onto the internet. We've all been there. We haven't all been there, but I, have, I certainly haven't. If you ever see a picture of my ass on the internet, you know something's gone horribly wrong in my life. I wasn't expecting to see this headline, and that's why I've jumped on. I've Literally, I'm just sitting here. I'm watching 90 Day Fiance on Discovery Plus there, flicking through the news on my phone, and I saw this. I thought, yeah, we need to talk about this, don't we? So I haven't read it. Veteran telly host Edward, 62, who quit the beep. He quit the beep. Wasn't forced out. Quit the babe. Maybe, uh, yeah, he knew this was coming. Maybe. What do you think? In April, faces three charges over alleged activity between December 2020 and April 2022. Okay. The offences are claimed to be linked to images shared on WhatsApp, police said. Edwards is accused of having six Category A images the most serious classification of indecent images on a phone. I'm guessing that's the phone that his wife didn't have access to. Because we all have a second phone for pictures of our bare ass and um, naughty stuff, don't we? No, we don't, because most of us are respectable citizens. BBC and Hugh Edwards. He's also accused of making 12 Category B images. Now, I don't know what the categories mean, but... If A is the worst, B must be bad. And 19 Category C photographs making 12 Category B photographs and making 19 Category C photographs. How did he make them? How did he make those? Did he take those pictures himself? Making the, pic making the pictures sounds very similar to taking the pictures i'm not saying that this is going a bit 70s entertainer all i'm saying is it sounds a bit 70s entertainer edwards will appear at westminster magistrates court on wednesday morning the star was arrested last november by london's met police and charged with the offenses on wednesday june the 26th how's this Oh, I've been out of the loop a bit. You'd think I would have heard about this before. Though. A Metropolitan Police spokesman said Hugh Edwards, 62 of Southwark, London, has been charged with three counts, three counts of making indecent images of children following a Met Police investigation. 
three counts. Hang on, let me just read that back. He's also charged, no, he's also accused, sorry, of making 12 Category B images and 19 Category C photographs. And he's accused of having six Category A's. And he's charged... Da, 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 charged with three counts of making indecent images. I mean, I'm no mathematician. The offences which are alleged to have taken place between December 2020 and related to a shared on a WhatsApp chat. Edwards was arrested on the 8th of November 23 and charged on Wednesday 26th following authorisation from the Crown Prosecution Service. Is it surprising? Are you surprised to hear? I must admit, I am a little bit surprised that it's Hugh Edwards. I'm not surprised that it's in regards to the BBC. The BBC, well, I can't say, um, I can't say the BBC has involvement because I'll get wrung out legally for that. They don't, as far as we know. But, but he was an employee of the BBC. Another, another, not another one. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly... I can't stand this. Employee of the BBC for this sort of thing. I thought it was all over with you. I thought that was it. You know, he was he was smarming up some lad that was younger than him and his picture of his bare ass ended on his internet and his wife was like, what the fuck were you doing? This I didn't expect. I didn't expect. And it's shocking. And I'm not making light of the situation because it is wrong and it's shocking and there's no justification you can give for having those sorts of things on your phone. And I hope Q goes to prison for a very long time for it, as he should. I hope his wife leaves him. I hope his life completely falls apart. If it's true that he had this stuff and he made this stuff. If that's true, you are the absolute scum of the earth, Hugh Edwards. If it's true, he's been charged for it. So uh, do I have to say the allegedly thing as my get out of jail free card if he's been charged for it? I don't know. Uh, uh, the son hasn't said the allegedly thing, so I'm guessing I'll be all right. But, you know, if I'm getting sued by Hugh Edwards in a week, don't be surprised. It's said that Hugh Edwards had resigned and left the BBC. After 40 years of service, Hugh explained that his decision was made on the basis of advice. The BBC has accepted his resignation. Who give that advice? Hugh's solicitor or Hugh's advisor that knew he had a load of this content? On his phone? What kind of advice kept him hung on? Didn't the, the BBC didn't sack him when the whole furore around him came out? Valid or not? Well, we've got to look. I'll look into it a bit more and decide on that. But they didn't sack him. They kept him. Well, they, they took him off the air, but they paid him for nearly a year of your license fee money. You are being terrorised by the BBC to pay £169.50 a year. And some of that money went to this man who has these things on a phone. And you're happy about that, are you? Stop paying the BBC any of your money. They do not deserve it. Uh, where are we? The CPS authorised the charges after a Metropolitan Police investigation. Mr. Edwards will appear at Westminster Magistrates Court on Wednesday the 31st of July. It's a Wednesday, so I won't be able to go. Uh, we remind all that proceedings are active and the defendant has the right to a fair trial. Fair point. I'm, I, we don't know. he's He's been charged. He hasn't been convicted. So, as the law stands at the moment, Hugh Edwards is innocent until proven guilty. Okay, I understand that. That's fine. Hugh Edwards, you are an innocent man as we sit at the moment. Please don't sue me. It's extremely important that there should be no reporting, commentary, or sharing of information online which could in any way prejudice these proceedings. Bollocks. 
Well, there you go. I don't think I've got much more to say on that than I've just said. I wasn't planning on making a video today. As you can see, I've been taking a bit of a break. I've been traveling a lot, which I'll talk about in another video. I've been all over the place in Europe and that, and I'm going back again in August. Um, busy man. I haven't talked about a lot of TV. I've got loads of TV lights. A lot of videos coming. Wasn't planning on making one tonight, hence the lager. You know, it was just having a nice relaxing Monday night after a tough day at the office. Ah, oh, Hugh. I didn't see it coming, mate. What do you think about this? Did you see it coming? Let me know in the comments below. I'll keep you updated as quickly as I can with any ongoing stuff. I won't be able to go on the Wednesday the 31st because, you know, I've got a job. I'd like to go. I'm not going to go. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Hit all the buttons and everything while you're down there. Because if you do all that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon. Why not? When hopefully it's a slightly more cheerful subject. Ta-da.